Hey everybody, this is Fred Flintstone, and this is on uh, graphing uh, linear inequalities in two variables. Okay, let's begin. So uh, first, let's uh, tell whether the ordered pair is the solution to the equation 2x plus y, uh, to the inequality, 2x uh, minus 3y is greater than 5. Okay, so we're going to plug in 4, 1, and 2, negative 2. Okay, the, the 4, uh, 1, the 4 is the x and the 1 is the y. And over here, the 2 is the x and the negative 2 is the y. Notice I color-coded them into blue and red. So up here, I'm going to substitute in the blue here and the red here. So let's do number 1 first. I'm going to put it in 4, comma 1. So is 2 times 4 minus 3 times 1, is that greater than 5? Okay, so multiply that out. 2 times 4 is 8. Minus 3 is uh, 5. 5 is not greater than 5. It's equal to 5, so the answer is no. All right, so when you plug in uh, the second one, uh, 2 times 2 minus 3 times a negative 2. Now be careful, this negative 3 right here, this minus 3 is the same as negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 2 becomes a plus 6. That's fine, thanks. And then so 4 plus 6, yeah, that's greater than 5, so that's a yes right there. Okay, and that's, that's the, the just of shading uh, these linear inequalities right here. So let's go ahead and graph these inequalities. Here's number 1. Y is greater than... 4x minus 3. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is graph the line y equals 4x minus 3, and it's going to be a dotted line because there's no equals bar. It's not greater than or equals to. There's no equals bar right there, so this is going to be a dotted line, okay? So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and graph that minus 3 first. So that minus 3 goes on this is my y intercept, and uh, you go down to that minus 3 right there and put a point right there. Next, I'm going to use this slope. Now, there's no number underneath that 4, but there is. It's understood to be over 1. So I'm going to use that slope, which is going to be uh, 4 over 1, and I'm going to go up 4 and then to the right 1, okay? Up 4 to the right 1. So if I go, and you can see the point right there, I went up 1, 2, 3, 4 to the right 1 and put a point. Okay, remember it's a dotted line, so I'm going to go uh, to the dotted line right there. There it is right there. And then now we got to see which side we're going to shade, you guys. We're either going to shade this side over here or this side over here. So what you can do is just test a point. I like testing 0, 0, you guys. If, you, if 0, 0, if it, as long as the line doesn't go through 0, 0, you can test 0, 0. And that's the easiest one to test, you guys. So test 0, 0 in this inequality right here. Y is, y is greater than 4x minus 3. And if it makes it true, then I shade the whole side that 0, 0 is on, which is the left. If it makes it false, then I shade the other side of the line. Okay, so let's plug in 0, 0. Is 0 greater than 4 times 0 minus 3? Is 0 greater than 0 minus 3? Yes, it is. 0 is greater than negative 3, you guys. So, so since uh, this 0, 0 made it yes, then that means this all the points on this side are going to be yes. So we're going to go ahead and shade that whole side of the line right there. So there it is right there. Okay, it's the whole side of the line that's shaded. Any point, you can pick any point. If I picked 4, 0 and plugged in 4, 0, uh, 0 would be y. Um, uh, so 0 would be, it's not greater than 4 times 4 minus 3. Any of these points over here would make it no. Okay, so you don't shade this side, you always shade this side. So pick 0, 0. That's the easiest one, you guys. All right, getting lots of emails all of a sudden. Okay, so here's another one. x plus 2y is greater than or equal to 7. Okay, I'm going to first graph x plus 2y equals 7. And this one's a solid line because of that equals bar right there. And this one's going to be easy to just plug in x equals 0. When x equals 0, pretend like the x isn't there, and I have 2y equals 7. So 2y equals 7, you get y equals 3.5. So 3.5 goes right here. So I'm going to graph 0, comma 3.5. There it is right there. Okay? And then when y is 0, get rid of that 2y right there, and we get x equals 7. So I'm going to have to extend this out to 7 out here, and x equals 7. There it is. I just extend it out to 7. Connect them up. It's a solid line. There it is. And then again, I'm going to test 0, 0. Okay? In this inequality, 0 plus 2 times 0, is it greater than or equal to uh, 7? Okay? And no, 0 plus 0 is not greater than or equal to 7. So I'm not going to shade this side because 0, 0 is on this side and 0, 0 made it no. So I'm going to shade the other side of the line up here. All right? So it's that side right there. Okay, how about this one? X is greater than negative 3. Okay, the equation X equals 3 is a vertical line. Okay, and this is going to be a dotted line. There it is, a vertical dotted line right there. And since it's greater than 3, that means just to the right. All those numbers are greater than 3. 
Okay, uh, let's try another one. One more, you guys. I think this is the last one. 4x plus y less than or equal to 0. Okay, you can do the zero zeros if you want, but you get 0, 0. That's the only point that you get. So what I'm going to do is solve for y and put it in y equals mx plus b form. So if I subtract 4x on both sides, I get y is less than or equal to negative 4x plus 0. So I'm now going to graph y equals negative 4x plus 0. Okay, so there's that plus 0 right there on the y-axis. Then I'm going to use this slope, down 4. Remember, it's over 1. So down 4 over 1. So that means you go down 4 and to the right 1. Okay, so that's the line. This time, and this one's a solid line because of the equals bar, this time it goes through 0, 0. So I can't test 0, 0. So pick another easy point to pick. I can pick any point on here. I'm going to pick 1, 1. So I don't make mistakes on this. Okay, so if 1, 1 makes it true, then I'm going to shade the side that 1, 1 is on. If 1, 1 makes it false, then I shade this side. So let's test uh, 1, 1 in the first inequality, 4x plus y less than or equal to 0. So is 4 times 1 plus 1 less than or equal to 0? Heck no. So I'm not going to shade this side where 1, 1 is. I'm going to shade the other side of the line.